Hello and welcome to another edition of Sports Card ASMR. This sucker punch right here is me, the Sports Card Doctor. And I'm so happy that you are here with us today. So happy I'd like to offer you the one-time deal to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is a channel that combines sports card nostalgia and ASMR relaxation. And ASMR relaxation with sports card nostalgia. Alright? Deal? Let's do it. This is one of our pricing episodes in which we will price cards and have some fun. It's not quite like a gambling game, but it uh, could be one if you wanted to. Okay. Let's dive in. We are still in the middle of football season. Exciting time for some teams. Um, it's been a struggle for me as a Miami Dolphin fan, so why not make uh, the pain even more by uh, looking at this Beckett football card monthly. Yeah, look at this. We are going back to April of 1992, the 25th issue of uh, Beckett football card monthly. And my dreaded, loathed Buffalo Bills superstar, uh, Thurman Thomas, on the cover. Now I like Thurman Thomas. Years later, I can, I can admit that the Bills were pretty damn great during this era. A lot of players I love to watch, but they always destroyed my Dolphins, particularly in those cold, snowy games in the playoffs or December. It hurts, but um, we're going to dive in the back cover here. It's John Elway. Yeah, I was happy to see John get those rings. Should have been Marino, but um, I guess I'm just confronting a lot of pain today from my early 90s football fandom. Let's take a look at what's in this uh, Beckett. Some Randall Cunningham and Howie Longhart.
we know, there weren't a lot of football card conventions specific to just football cards. So no convention calendar in these packets. Great Barry Sanders Pro Set card. And we got a profile on one of the fastest men ever to play the game, Daryl Green. Love me some Daryl Green. That's a great card there. NFL's fastest man. 91 upper deck. Big fan of the Washington Ball Club here with their focusing on the hogs. reading this back in 1992, I would have thought that was ancient history, but uh, that's like talking about you know, the 2010s NFL. It's crazy how time works. All right. There you go. That is the Beckett we'll be looking through. But I know why you're here. You want to see what cards we're going to be opening. For that, I go to this big box of goodies sent to us uh, a while ago now by our buddy Ranger Donald. some packing in there. What do you say, ASMR fans? I know some of you are here for the cards, but most of you are here for the ASMR. Let's do some popping. baseball then you know you see the tableau there. Let's score baseball. Basketball, baseball. We'll get back to price and some basketball. We got some more than Nolan Ryan series. some goodies in there. I'm uh, not as big as a basketball fan as other people, so you might have to help me with those when I open them. You might have to scream into your comment section, Ken, those are valuable. Or I'll be like over here going, Sam Bowie seems pretty good, right? All right, got some Donner's Triple Play. Oh, he's got uh, some super size packs here, some uh, cello packs. Always 87 tops. 
92 score, 40 cards. We might just have to do a supersized edition of uh, the Price Guide episode to make that $1.49 back. Here we got some hockey for you hockey fans. More hoops. Oh, these are not 89 hoops. These are 91, 92 hoops. This is, I believe, the 89 hoop. I think. Yeah. Maybe 90 hoops. No, no. Uh, still probably some good cards. All right. Kurt, Kurt Rampus was still playing, right? So we can probably pull something more valuable from that. All right, but here's what we're doing. Two football cards left. Uh, two football cards packs, I should say. So we got Pro Set and we got Upper Deck. And I gotta tell you, I'm just cutting right to the chase. I really want to open up this Upper Deck. It was on my mind today, so we're gonna do that. So we uh, close the box of cards. Sent to us by our buddy, Ranch Donald. I make a lot of noise back there. And then now it's time. We're going to do it. A little crinkle and rip of this 1991 Upper Deck. 12 football cards. We're going to set the price at a dollar. Premier edition Upper Deck had arrived. And as we saw in this packet in April of 92, it was a hot set. Crinkle's pretty nice. was the top sharp in the Sharp Brothers football empire. And a great player, quite great wide receiver. And taking nothing away from Shannon, okay? Uh, but Sterling was the guy. All right, Mike Munchak, great guard. Offensive lineman, not necessarily sexy, but there you go. All right, Irving Fryer, wide out with uh, New England, but he'd go to Miami very soon. And... Uh, have some great years there with my Dolphins. Ronnie Lippett, cornerback. I remember old Ronnie. Uh, we got Andre Ware. Interesting card. This might have more value than you would think now because we're doing the 1992 pricing. It's going to be an interesting one there. 
uh, Anthony Carter. Look at us. We got uh, we got a lot of Carters going on here. And um, Brian Noble. And we got uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, collector choice uh, checklist card. Some solid Veni Testaverde art in an orange creamsicle Buccaneers uniform. Uh, send that to someone you love who loves the Buccaneers. Uh, as I said, two great players. I uh, loved Anthony Carter back in the day. Chris Carter was still kind of emerging on the scene. Interesting that they uh, both come in this pack. Okay. So, an interesting pack of cards to price because I just don't know where to go with this here. Seasons, but he's not going to be price high. Ronnie Lippitt uh, was a uh, uh, you know middle level kind of uh, cornerback. Brian Noel, middle linebacker. No, that's not going to be worth a lot. So I think we're kind of stuck with these cards by default. I think we'll be pricing these cards here. There we go. Producing to heighten the drama of the cards. Okay, so let's get back to it. tools here. No magnifying glass because the eyes ain't what they used to be. Uh, because I'm sometimes bad at math and I just like the key sounds. Got our classic mid-90s calculator. Okay, and of course we got the clipboard to write down our prices here. And make our bets. Ninety-one upper deck. We're going with the dollar price, but what do we think the entire price is going to be? I think this is not going to be a great pack of cards. I think we're just barely going to get over our dollar for the entire pack, and I'm going to say one. 10. We're going to just sneak over. But now the question is, can these highlighted cards here get us over a dollar? If you're new to the Price Guide episodes, that's what we're doing here, all right? Got to clear some space in the water bottle from this week's earlier video. Oh, looks like just, I just dripped some water. Sorry, Beckett. How embarrassing. It happens sometimes. Okay, let's get to it. Pressing first, this Sterling Sharp Team MVP card. So not as valuable as the uh, regular Sterling Sharp card, I'm sure. 4.59 in the set. I think 
we might have to flip a page here. Fifty-nine. It is. Uh, it is listed. I didn't think it was going to be listed. Uh, Four fifty-nine, eight cent card. That's not bad. That's not a bad start. Eight cents. I'm gonna stick with the raw whiteouts here. Go, Chris Carter. Uh, a couple years later, this might be worth more. Card number 56. And in fact, at this point, it is a common, a five cent card. Yeah, Chris Carter was kind of a late plumber, if I remember. All right, again, for those new to the price guide videos, uh, who are not just here for the relaxation, we're trying to see if we can make a fictitious dollar back on our pack here. Anthony Carter, 236. Uh, I mean, he might be a common two here. Oh no, he's listed. 10 cents. He was one of the best. Big pull. Yeah, I don't think Anthony Carter is discussed as much these days in the football conversations. Chris Carter eventually does absolutely eclipse him, but three big thousand yard seasons, the 87 season, 922 yards, a strike shortened season. Yeah, absolutely. Love Anthony Carter. All right, Irving Fryer. I, I'm going to guess he's a common, but I do like Irving there. 270 in the set. Um, yeah, that's a common. No surprise, but again, not a great pack. For 28 cents. Not looking good to make our dollar back. I don't even know this entire pack will make a dollar. All right, William Refrigerator Perry. Great card. I think we're going to hold on to this card. Um, just because uh, the memories of uh, the old refrigerator. Uh, number 45 in the set. The value of Refrigerator Perry, especially by April 92. Probably not the best. Yeah, there he is. He has fallen to common. But you know what? Not only did he score a touchdown in the Super Bowl instead of Walter Payton, he also was a G.I. Joe character. That's living. All right, so it's not looking good. We, we... This is a 24, 33 cents right now. I didn't even need the calculator for this, but 33 cents. Can Andre Ware get us over a dollar? And then we'll see the rest of the pack, see how close it can get us to 110. Andre Ware, of course, was a big college quarterback star coming out. Uh, went high, was the uh, hope of the Detroit Lions, along with Barry Sanders, of course. So this is an era where he might be considered uh, pretty valuable still. It's a rookie card, right? Technically, 19. Uh, I mean, definitely know he had some uh, 1990 cards, but uh, he's got his rookie season reflected there. Uh, Heisman winner in 1990. Uh, this card reminds me. Uh, it's a good, it's a good shot. It's a good shot. All right, let's go to 301. Here's the drama. Here's the drama. Can it be? Is could this be worth a dollar? Because it's April. This is April 1992 prices. There he is, 301. Wow. Sorry, I sounded like uh, Owen Wilson there. Wow, 25 cents. Nope, we didn't do it, kids. $0.25. Cents. All right, just going to double check the math here. And then we'll do uh, the rest of the pack. Wow, that's really bad. Fifty-eight cents here. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to just run through these cards here and see if somehow we can get close to that $1.10 overall price I predicted. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, yeah, no, that's uh, common. We got Mike Munchak. I mean, he's a great offensive lineman. And um, common. Courtney Hall. I mean, if you if you knew offensive lineman in the '90s, he was your guy. He was an up. Ah, uh, common. Not good. Not good. Bart Grossman, two ten sack seasons. Come on, bloody crotch. And common. And Ronnie Lippett. I mean, he's our savior, right? Ronnie Lippett, four ten. And that's uh, a common. Come on, Brian Noble. Brian Noble, a middle linebacker with Green Bay. Come on, one nineteen. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Ah. Yeah, not a great pack of cards, but I do love the 1991 Upper Deck football. Uh, all right, so we got 10, we got 20, we got 30. Oh, man. An 88 cent pack. That's one of the lowest packs I've ever had in doing the price guides. Wow, that's... Uh, Almost impressive in the opposite direction. Can't be disappointed. You know, we got ourselves a, a William Perry card to hold on to. That's going to be great. Well, that's what we do. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing along. Um, I hope you all made money off of this, uh, unlike me. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll get it. It's been a while since we've had a good pack of football cards in terms of value. We're going to find that out. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. See you next time.